2021 has big plans for the future of space and science. However, we would be wrong to not note the many achievements and boundaries scientists, engineers, and astronauts have broken in humanity's past. 50 years ago, on February 4, 1971, Apollo 14 landed at Frau Maro, an ideal landing site on the lunar surface. This wasn't the first time American astronauts had landed on the moon, but the mixture of fear and exhilaration filled the cabin as Alan B. Shepard and Edgar D. Mitchell descended toward the lunar surface. The previous year saw a failed mission landing at Frau Maro, and the two astronauts were given the go-ahead for their descent by Fred Heiss, an astronaut on the previous mission who is now working as a Capcom, or flight controller. Their landing was relatively unproblematic, and the two astronauts were free to conduct their two spacewalks on the moon's surface. It's thrilling to think that 50 years ago we were landing on the moon and 2021 has missions and plans just as exciting. Not one, but three separate missions to Mars will be taking place. None of them manned yet, but they will be helping pave the way for future manned missions. The United Arab Emirates has reached prestige by becoming the first Arab nation to reach Mars with their probe, Al Amal, or in English, Hope. Their goal is to provide a clearer understanding of the Martian atmosphere the insertion into the atmosphere itself was the most difficult part of the mission, but according to spokespersons for the agency, all went well. China is conducting its first independent mission to Mars as well. Tianwen-1, a robotic probe, will discover more about the Martian atmosphere while beginning preparations to launch, launch a rover onto the planet's surface. The United States is leading with the last mission, another rover mission to the Red Planet. Perseverance, a robotic astrobiologist, according to a NASA spokesperson, has a helicopter named Ingenuity strapped to its carriage to help explore the planet. This will be the first aircraft to attempt controlled flight on another planet. Perseverance landed safely on Mars and will be beginning its mission soon. These missions will bring huge boons to the world of science and our own understanding of our neighboring planet that so many adore. Let's talk about Mars. Mars, or the red planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun. Its reddish color is due to iron oxide on its surface. It has two moons named after the Greek war gods' horses, Phobos and Deimos, and contains the largest volcano and the highest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons. 142 million miles from the Sun, Mars has an average temperature of negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit and has an atmosphere that is mostly made up of carbon dioxide not exactly the most comfortable place to live. Despite its small diameter, the axial tilt of Mars is similar to that of Earth at 25 degrees compared to Earth's 23.5 degrees. Moreover, a day on Mars is actually a very similar length to that of Earth, averaging at 24 hours and 37 minutes. Despite this, a year on Mars is nearly twice that of a year on Earth, making a full revolution around the Sun every 687 days. Want to lose weight fast? On Mars, a person that weighs 100 pounds on Earth only weighs 38 pounds. There is a theory that Mars and Earth may have had similar conditions in the past and finding evidence of Mars supporting life, past or present, is a major goal of Mars exploration. Mars may at one point have had a thicker atmosphere and data collected by NASA indicates that a significant amount of Mars's atmosphere has been depleted, mostly by solar winds. Now the atmospheric pressure of Mars is roughly 0.6% of Earth's atmospheric pressure. How inhabitable is Mars? Will humans ever be able to live on Mars? Although liquid water is unable to exist on the surface of Mars due to its low atmospheric pressure, there are two polar ice caps that seem to be made mostly out of water. In fact, if the south polar ice cap was to melt, it could cover the entire planet's surface in 36 feet of water. Due to a 2016 discovery of underground ice, it is estimated that the volume of water on Mars is equal to the volume of Lake Superior's water. What a cool planet!
Hello, this is Hatter Planetarium Director Ian Clark bringing you a mid to late February look at what to see in the night sky. You can see there the sun just went down and we're going to wait here until uh, 8.30 and then we're going to look to the north. So what is it we can expect to find in the northern skies at this time of year? Uh, well, of course, Polaris, the North Star, is due north, uh, 40 degrees above the north horizon. That's equal to our latitude. Uh, you can see there off on one side of the North Star, we have Cassiopeia, the Queen, and on the other side, Ursa Major, containing the group of stars that we know best as the Big Dipper, almost right behind my head. There we go. There's the Big Dipper. A uh, funny thing that I heard in the planetarium once, there was a woman in who uh, described her own piece of astronomy folklore, and that is that in the, uh, in the winter, the Big Dipper lay along her barn roof, and then as it got closer to spring, the barn roof would get too hot, and it would leap up into the northeastern sky. Well, that's what we have happening right now, even though there is still uh, snow and cold on the ground at this time of, of year. Uh, we begin to see the Big Dipper prominent in the northeastern sky, especially later in the evening. We look then around to the southeast. We're going to see the full panoply of the winter stars. High up in the southwest there, we have the planet Mars, which is actually not shining very brightly right now. Uh, below it, the constellations of Taurus the Bull, often portrayed as pursuing him, we have Orion the Hunter. And below Orion, Canis Major with Sirius the Dog Star. Uh, Canis Major is one of Orion's two hunting dogs. And what are they hunting? Well, right below the feet of Orion, uh, we have a lesser known constellation, Lepus the Hare, hare as in rabbit. Uh, and then near Orion and uh, uh, high in the sky there we have Gemini the Twins and then in between Gemini and Canis Major uh, Procyon which is one of two stars that make up Canis Minor the little dog and that then is a look at our February skies here from Gettysburg planet Earth. <laughs>